What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to take a good old look at that their release schedule for the Pokemon trading card game. It's been a few weeks. We need to have a look. There's been some big reveals, some very exciting things which have gone and been revealed. And that means we need to have a good old look at them because that's what we do, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely what we do. Cool stuff is revealed, we go and have a look at it, and we all have a lovely amount of fun. Sounds like a plan? Awesome. So starting off then, the next thing that is going to be released for the Pokemon TCG on September the 1st are the Paldea Partner Tins. And these are incredibly cool. They are alternate arts of the cards we've already had in Paldea Evolved. So my advice to you is the same as my advice to you always is. If this is something that you want to be picking up because you like the card or you like the artwork or things along those lines, fantastic. But you don't need these cards. These are alternate arts of existing cards. You have been warned. Also worth pointing out that the US and Europe tend to get different tins here. So you've got the landscape tins which tend to have an extra pack and you find in north america and then the portrait tins that tend to have one fewer pack and then they end up in europe okay cool if you like them they're there if you don't that's okay as well ladies and gentlemen that's okay as well also on september the first also featuring your gen 9 first partner pokemon we've got the meow scarada ex and Quarkwavel X Deluxe Battle Decks. I know. These are, well, I'll be honest with you, they're actually kind of inessential. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, they're actually kind of inessential. They are basically being sold as Stage 2 products, or Level 2 products. And, yeah, they fit very, very nicely between your level 1 EX decks and your level 3 League Battle decks. And we're due for another one of those pretty soon, to be fair. So, as you can see from the front here, they feature EXs and Radiant Pokemon. But you'll also notice that they are just regular set artwork. As far as I can see, and we've seen the deck list and all of that, these don't have any exclusive cards in. These don't have any alternate art or alternate foil or any of that. These seem to just be ordinary, everyday, run-of-the-mill cards, but put together into a level 2 deck, somewhere between I'm a complete beginner and I want to learn to play hyper-competitively. If that's what you're looking for, these are going to be great. Otherwise, these might be a skip. And then on September the 1st, what I'm excited about are the Halloween Booster Bundles. Trick or Trade is back, ladies and gentlemen. Trick or Trade is back. Now, as it stands at the moment, we don't have a look at the list, which is very sad. But we do know they are releasing at least in the UK. Which is big, frankly. Because I want these. Now, I bought them last year, but I had to get a lovely person to hook me up and help me pick them up from the US. Which was awkward. Here, uh, I don't know if they're getting a Europe-wide release. I've, I've had conflicting reports, but I know they are at least releasing in the UK, and that is fantastic because they're awesome, ladies and gentlemen. They are absolutely awesome. If it's anything like last year, you're going to easily get the complete set when you buy a booster bundle. It's like 20 quid for 50 mini packs, and... Yeah, I, I opened just over half the packs last year and got the complete set. They're going to be reprints with just the little st Halloween stamp on, but I, I love them. And genuinely, right, if you do do trick-or-treating, pick these up and actually give them out to trick-or-treaters, would you? If you want to, of course, that would be cool. Now, on September the 8th, we've got the Paradox Powers box moving forward a week. This is one I told you about the other day. And again, there's nothing actually new in here. Now, this is actually a pretty cool product. You get yourself a Maridon EX and a Caridon EX, a Jumbo Cyclozar, and five packs. None of this is new or exclusive, not even the Jumbo. And it does seem at the moment to be exclusive to Amazon. They've got it listed as exclusive on Amazon UK. But this is another one of those where, no, it's not essential. But as presents for kids, where you get two guaranteed EXs and the Jumbo and some packs, it is not too bad at all. 
But then we get to September the 22nd, and this is where things start getting really good, because this is the initial release of Pokemon Card, or as it is in the UK, Scarlet and Violet 151. And this is big and awesome, and this is what we're getting excited about. Now, remember, we've got two different versions of the Elite Trainer Box, the regular and the Pokemon Center exclusive. Exactly the same, except for the fact that you get yourself two extra booster packs in the Pokemon Center exclusive and a stamped Snorlax in addition to the regular Snorlax. You then get yourself the poster collection, which comes with a double-sided poster, which is awesome. And then promos of your first partner Pokemon, including an Okacheke Bulbasaur. So this is one, and these are exclusive promos, I should say, that can't be gotten elsewhere. The Snorlax in the ETB is an alternate art. These are actually exclusive. I will be getting this one absolutely guaranteed. We've got the Binder Collection, which, well, you, you get a binder. It's a really cool binder. It's not particularly cost effective in terms of getting booster packs, but you get yourself a full on binder, so that does help to explain it. You get yourself the booster bundle. Now, this is amazing if you can find it in stock, and I know a lot of people are struggling. The reason is you get six packs at a price of six packs. And for a regular set, this is a bit rubbish and nobody cares. However, for this particular set, you can't buy just booster packs and booster boxes, etc. So yeah, this is going to be very, very sought after. So we've got a whole bunch of Pokemon card 151 stuff coming. It's your first opportunity to get packs and people are going to love it. Also on the same day, although I think it's fair to say maybe slightly less exciting, Pokeball tins. Yeah. Is worth noting that Lure Ball will be coming for the first time here. So if you've been like desperate for a lure ball tin, I've got wonderful, wonderful news for you. But I think that is about the best we can do here. I am sorry. Now, moving forward one week to September the 29th, my actual birthday, we've got my first battle. I have asked my mother-in-law, or I should say my wife has asked my mother-in-law on my behalf, for this, for my birthday. Why? Because I've got a five-year-old daughter, and I think that she is going to be able to learn how to play the Pokemon TCG using this product in a really simple, straight way. Remember, all the cards in here are exclusive. They've got different card backs, etc. And this is very much seeming to be a proper... It says level one. It really is kind of like a level zero product. 17 card decks, super simple cards. But every card in here is exclusive. They've all got different card backs. And this seems like a phenomenal product to help teach people how to play the game. If you've got children, actual proper children, that you want to teach to play the game, like five-year-olds like I do, yeah, I am legitimately hyped for this product. And like I say, my mother-in-law should be getting this for me for my birthday because I want to spend my birthday teaching my kids to play Pokemon. That sounds like a great way to spend your birthday. Now, on October the 6th, we get ourselves the second run of Pokemon Card 151, or I suppose Scarlet and Violet 151. We've got the EX boxes featuring Zapdos and Alakazam. Note that Alakazam comes with two promos in addition to Alakazam. Zapdos comes with one and a jumbo. Seems to me now you either get yourself two extra promos or one and a jumbo. These are both cool, but they are alternate arts of the cards that are in the set. So that one's up to you. They are exclusive. They are proper Black Star promos, but they are also old and at arch. You have been warned. Uh, we also get the mini tins, which, any, I, I mean, look, I will say the coins are cool, right? The mini tin coins are very, very cool. That is the best you're going to hear from me. Their energy symbols are actually really nice. But then we get the Mew Ultra Premium Collection, and this is phenomenal. You get yourself... An actual stitched edge playmat and coins and a die and all of that. Or actually, a set of dice. But then you also get yourself the promos. All three of the promos. That is to say, a Mew Special Illustration Rare. A Gold Mew, although it is a Metal Mew, so don't try playing it in a deck. And then a Mewtwo Illustration Rare. This is, by a wide margin, the very, very, very coolest of the 151 products. It's brilliant. It's amazing. Get excited. I love this. I've got this on pre-order because, come on, it looks amazing. 
And also on October the 6th, we've got the Greninja and Kangaskhan EX decks. Once again, they're coming on the same day as something a lot more exciting, but that doesn't mean they're not cool. Now remember, these are your beginner products, although they're still a step up from my first battle. What is important to note, the Kangaskhan is an alternate art of the one from 151. So, same card mechanically, but different artwork exclusive to this deck, proper promo and all of that. And the Greninja is actually exclusive, and I'm, I'm not claiming it's like the best card ever. Well, it does have a little bit of potential even as a stage 2. But this is an actual legitimate exclusive card. This Greninja EX only exists in this EX deck. You have been warned. Now, on October the 20th, that's another day to put in your calendar. All of these are, really. But that's where we get the Charizard EX Premium Collection. This is going to be a box that gets people very excited. You do get yourself a Charizard EX. Now, this is a promo, but it is not the same artwork as the one from Obsidian Flames. Same kind of style, same card mechanically, but this is an alternate art Charizard EX, and that makes it cool. You also get sleeves and a card frame and a hollow Charmander and Charmeleon. It's it's going to be a product that people go crazy over, okay? It's going to be a ridiculously popular product, and it's got an exclusive Charizard. It might be alternate art, but it is still an exclusive Charizard. Then on November the 3rd, we've got ourselves the Oinkalone EX box. We don't need to talk much about the Oinkalone EX box, because I don't think it's particularly, you know, this is one of those ones where you're going to look at it pretty quickly and decide if you want it or not. The Oinkalone is exactly the same as the one from Scarlet and Violet, but the Jumbo is new. So if you really want Oinkalone, brilliant, it's in here. If you're interested in the Jumbo, brilliant, it's in here. Otherwise, this is another one which I think could probably be skipped. And then also on November the 3rd, because we're probably ignoring the Oinkalone box, because we're way too excited about Paradox Rift. Yeah. November the 3rd is bringing us a release of Paradox Rift, and this is a set which is worth getting very, very excited about. Although with a full release on November the 3rd, please remember the two preceding weekends, the weekend of the 26th of October and the 19th of October, are going to bring you your pre-releases where you can go to your local game stores and get build and battle boxes. Just build and battle boxes, nothing else. And you can go and play in your pre-release. And you get one of four promos in there, but we don't know what the promos are yet. We've not been told. So moving forward to Paradox Rift properly then, obviously you've got the usual booster packs, booster boxes, etc. Remember the hook in this set is that we're bringing in future and ancient Pokemon like Roaring Moon and Iron Valiant. They are Paradox Pokemon and there's going to be some kind of support, etc. for those two types, although we haven't actually seen any of it yet. Obviously, as soon as we do, there'll be videos on this channel. That's what I do. You can also get yourself the booster bundle, six packs for the price of six packs. But where is it like the best product for Pokemon card 151? For Paradox Rift, it's really not. You could just go and buy six packs, which you can't do for 151. There are then four Elite Trainer boxes. So we've got Elite Trainer boxes for Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon, i.e. Future and Past, or Future and Ancient. And then we've got the Pokemon Center exclusive versions of each. Once again, they are going to be exactly the same Pokemon Center exclusive and normal, with the exception of the Pokemon Center exclusive gets two extra packs and a second stamped promo. We know that the promos are going to be Iron Bundle and Screamtail. We've not actually seen them yet. You'll see on the screen here, we, we've got an upside down card. We can see the back of the card. I'm sorry, that's the best we've got. But they are going to be exclusive illustration rares you can't find elsewhere. The regular cards will be in the set. These illustration rares won't. Now, in terms of free pack blisters, we've got ourselves an Arctobax and a Titan. Arctobax is an alternate art of an existing card, so Titan is brand new and cannot be found anywhere else. Your one pack blisters feature Pineco and Sinisty, both alternate arts of existing cards, but still proper promos. And then your check lane blisters feature Hydreigon and Tinkerton, which are may or may not be straight reprints some of these recently have come through with a different foil pattern making them exclusive some of them haven't so check before you buy the check lane blisters and there we go there's a lot coming ladies and gentlemen there's a lot to get excited about 
but now it's over to you guys. Tell me which of these things you're going to be picking up. Tell me what excites you. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games. All kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out Patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. Where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely Dojo, who's one of our newer patrons and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.